Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today we've got a review video on the Under Armour Cold Gear Storm Playoff Football Gloves. Okay, so these gloves have been around for quite some time, and I'm just now getting to my review of these gloves. Uh, I found them at Hit Sports and got them for a pretty good price, and uh, many of y'all asked me to do this review because uh, I don't believe there's very many uh, reviews out there on YouTube of these uh, Cold Gear Storm gloves. Uh, but I decided to pick them up, use them a little bit, and uh, kind of tell you what I think about them. Uh, they are the Under Armour Cold Gear Storm football gloves. Sometimes they're referred to as the Cold Gear Storm Playoff football gloves. Uh, they're pretty much the same glove. Um, it's not to be mistaken as like a sideline glove or some type of coach's glove. It is a uh, an all-purpose football rec receiver type glove. Um, all it says as far as like what positions, because I know y'all are going to ask, but it says all purpose. So, you know, when you go to look at that, you can go to any skilled player, um, anyone on defense. I mean, it's just all purpose. So, I mean, anyone can really use this glove. Lyman, probably not because, you know, there's no padding on it. But uh, it's intended to use uh, for the cold weather, uh, just as in Under Armour's Cold Gear line, uh, it's going to trap heat. Uh, inside the glove so it is unique in the fact that it is not like a true receiver glove that would be uh, you know have ventilation and you know be cool on your hands and still be flexible uh, these do these gloves do have you know nice flexibility as one of the traits it has uh, for being the uh, minimal padding or the uh, minimal uh, thickness of the glove being that it has um, cold gear lining on the outside of it but uh, we'll kind of go into the card here. Um, it is wind and water resistant. Uh, it says wind and water resistant warmth for total control in terrible conditions. And then on the back, uh, it's you. Uh, the grip is uh, Under Armour Grab Tac, uh, just like all of Under Armour's gloves. Uh, like I said, it is wind and water resistant cold gear uh, on the back of the hand. And I will show you uh, kind of how that works, uh, being water resistant. Um, so, I mean, this glove can really be used in the cold, any type of wet settings, and it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a great football glove to have if you uh, you know you make it kind of you know the name kind of goes with you know a playoff glove. You know, usually when you get to the playoffs, it starts getting cold. So this is a glove you can re refer to. Um, you know, I don't recommend using it as like your standard receiver glove, being that it's like. Um, you know, in like the hot weather, it is intended for the cold weather, and you can definitely tell there is a, quite a difference between a um, you know a normal like Under Armour receiver glove that's you know intended for uh, kind of the hot weather. But you know, this one's unique. As you can see, it's got you know this cold gear lining on the back, but if you can kind of tell on the inside here, it's got kind of this uh, patterned uh, kind of layering. It kind of reminds me of. Um, under Armour's infrared material that was that's been used in some of their recent cold gear items. So, and you can definitely tell that like when you put it on, it really does trap your hand in there, and you know it keeps it warm. You know, there's no ventilation throughout any of this glove. It's intended to be for the cold. Uh, you know, y'all y'all ask about the grip. Um, the grip kind of feels like it's it, it it feels a little bit different than some other gloves maybe it's just the way these are made but I really do think like they they kind of have a little more tack to them uh, but you know time will tell if I keep using these they do have the rollover grip over each finger on the glove so normally it would just come on the index and thumb but it's actually on all five fingers which kind of gives it you know a more closed type of feel um, which I really like uh, and when it straps up you know they do strap up and lock in pretty well um, they're they're kind of like they're kind of cut and aligned with kind of how your hand is supposed to be you know shaped or how your wrist is so and you know these these really do lock in you know they don't like the uh, strap keeps them on and you know they they seal up pretty tight now 
y'all will probably ask because uh, some football gloves, you know, if they do have any type of, you know, kind of cold weather, uh, you know, patterning inside to where they're, um, you know, more lined, and you know, how's that going to affect sizing? Well, I don't really believe it does. I'm I'm able to wear an XL in these gloves, and I wear an XL in every other football glove that I have, no matter what the no matter uh, what the brand is. But really, what's what's really nice about these is how uh, thin layering um, the back of the hand is, and how it keeps you warm. Because I mean, this this glove really does work. And right now, I'm going to go take you and show you how these are water resistant. All right, so I've shown before how I do some of my Under Armour uh, Cold Gear Storm water resistance tests, and I'm just going to quickly show you. Uh, how this glove works uh, with that storm material. So just imagine you're using this football glove and it's raining and I'm just going to take some water and just drip it over the top of the glove. So as you can kind of see it beat it up right when the rain hits the glove or the water. You know I shake it off and that water is not seeping through um, it's just beating up right when it hits the top of the top of the glove and the palms I mean they're gonna I mean they'll get wet but I mean they're they pretty much they don't get really slick you can still hear the tack in them I don't really believe the the gloves grip is not water resistant but um, it's still gonna just catch water like a normal grab tack glove would but you know it's probably just you can always dry it off and let's dry again and we can drip more water on it I think that's just the most awesome thing that this football glove has is just the water resistant uh, material on the back so these gloves really do say what all they're gonna do they they're able to be water resistant and still, you know, be uh, very warm on the inside with uh, the cold gear uh, lining on the inside. Uh, you know, if I was to say these these gloves would be well worth it, uh, no matter what you pay for them. If you're in, you know, dire need of, you know, a type of football glove that's going to give you um, warmth from the, you know, the elements whether it's rain, snow, um, or just the cold in general. Uh, these gloves are originally priced for $49.99 or $50. I actually got them uh, for 20, about $20, but if you can find them a lot cheaper, uh, that's probably the route you want to go with. But uh, you know, even if even if I was in desperate need of these gloves, and I would I would pay the $50 for these gloves just because I feel like they would give you an edge, um, you know, in a late playoff type game, whether it's raining. There's, you know, the cold weather is a big effect in the game. I really do think these gloves, um, well worth worth the uh, price attached to them and all the uh, all the things they say they do. This is a great glove. Um, so I'd highly recommend it to you guys if you are looking for a type of glove like this. Um, it's definitely one that I'm gonna try to implement a little more. Um, so if you guys have any more questions on these gloves. Um, be sure to uh, leave a comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram to get updates on the channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.